Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Hope you're doing well. Today for this episode, we are beginning a new series on basically what is going to be my ultra light summer's backpacking kit. Now, I have been preparing for our summer trips and really for these, I'm planning overnight, multiple day trips. And I wanna go as far as possible. Usually when I go out, hit the trail, it's all about miles. I wanna see how far I can go and I want to see as much of the area as possible. Now for me, I tend to believe that the lighter you can go, the more comfortable you will be. That's just my experience. I rather carry a lightweight. Some people can carry 100 pounds and it don't affect them. Well, that's definitely not me. Basically, what we're going to be doing is going over piece by piece. And we're going to maybe do one video a week where I show off the gear that's basically going to make up my kit. Now today we are starting with this backpack right here. This is a Z-Pax Arc Blast 52 liter. And let me tell you guys, it is incredibly super duper lightweight. I'm excited to show it off to you. You may want to grab a cup of coffee and we'll go ahead and get started detailing this pack. Now, if you haven't heard of Z-Pax before, they are what you would call a cottage company. They make highly customizable ultra light gear, ranging from shelters to backpacks to sleeping bags. Now when you go to their website, it is not the most advanced website out there, so the options can be a little bit confusing if you're just kind of going through taking a look. But you know, if you decide that you're going to order, it, once you actually settle down, do some reading, the site's pretty easy to figure out. And really, when it comes to placing your order, you can have just about anything done. It really is up to you. You can always write them, ask questions, tell them what you're looking for. They can help you out. They can customize things for you. And if you do a search on the internet for Z-Packs, such as Z-Pack reviews, whatever, you will find that they are definitely one of the highest rated companies out there. And that is definitely why I went with one of their packs. After reading all the reviews from professional hikers to amateur hikers, without a doubt, this is a fantastic pack and I'm really excited to begin testing it out. I have no doubt after looking at this pack, looking at the construction and the way it's made, that it's going to perform very, very well. Perform at least as good as what most people have said. As some of you guys know, 16 ounces equals one pound. This pack right here comes in at exactly 17 ounces. So it's just a tad bit over one pound for a 52 liter pack that also has an actual frame to it. Most of these ultralight packs, these Cuban fiber packs, don't have frames. This one does, and this is an actual carbon fiber frame. Ultra, ultra light. Now when it comes to these ultralight packs that you find on the market that are similar to this, most of them will use a fabric known as Cuban fiber. It was originally made for sailboats. It will not absorb any water. It is fully waterproof. It is extremely strong, depending on the weight of it that you get. Just to make sure I got this right here, this is a 2.92 ounce per square yard Cuban hybrid fabric. On the inside of this bag, it is that Cuban fiber. On the outside of the bag is a 50 denier polyester material. So basically what you have here is Cuban fiber on the inside, polyester on the outside, this is a hybrid material that is super duper strong. That way you protect the Cuban fiber on the inside, but you also have a solid color on the outside. Cuban fiber in general is translucent. You can kind of see through it. It's very light. You know, if you were say if you had a shelter made out of it and you were inside of it with a flashlight, anybody walking by could see right through it. Now, so with that polyester fabric on the outside, 50 denier, it's a solid color. And take a look at this bag here. 52 liters, roll top, very nice. Before we talk any more stats, I'm gonna go ahead and shove some pillows inside of this thing, just so you guys can see it kind of filled up a little bit. And then we'll start going over the features and we'll come back to the stats after that. I went ahead and I stuffed this bag with some pillows here, just so you guys can kind of get an idea of just how big this pack can be. Now. Here in the front, we have a gigantic mesh pocket, maybe for your wet stuff so it can dry. 
Down here you have some straps, so say if you want to attach your sleeping pad or so on, you definitely can. You do have two pockets on both sides for your water bottles. You do have some cordage here, so you can cinch down your load, or you can attach something if you want. And that's on both sides of the pack here. Here in the front, you have another buckle, so you can cinch down your load on the top. At the very top, for the opening, you have a piece of Velcro that's on both sides of the lid. So you can open it up just like so. And then when you're ready to seal it, you just seal it like that. And as you can see, you have a buckle on both sides here. And that way you can roll it up just like a dry bag and then bend it, latch it, and you're ready to rock. Going to the back side, right here you can see that there's a triangle piece, right? You do have a handle right here, but on the inside of this is a access port for your hydration bladder. So you could definitely run one through if you want to. Here you have the straps, which they are padded. And you know, I've worn this thing just a little bit around the house here, and they seem like they're comfortable enough. Now, based on the reviews that I have read, nobody has any issues with the suspension system or with the padding of the uh, straps themselves. So you have the straps here. You do have a sternum strap here. You do have some cordage that's daisy chained down the front, so you can attach whatever you want to if you happen to want to attach something. Down at the bottom, you do have the waist belt. I did opt for extra lumbar padding right here, and that added just 0.6 ounces and cost a couple bucks to add that on there, but no big deal. It, of course, does buckle. You can adjust it. There's also some chainage right here so you can attach other bags and packs, pouches and whatnot. Behind the straps, you do have a mesh back panel that will allow some airflow for you. And behind that, you have the carbon fiber frame that goes all the way across and down on both sides here. So that will give you some pretty good support for carrying your weight. Very impressive indeed. On the inside of this pack, it is just a gigantic rucksack, just a big pocket. And that's typically how I like to do things. I will go ahead and grab the camera now and actually give you guys a close look here at the material and the features. All right, guys, we're coming in here for a close look. As you can see here at the top, this is the lid right here. You have a buckle right here, buckle right here. And that way you can roll that up and fold it just like a dry bag. On the inside, you do have a tab here and a tab. These are actually on the outside, but on the inside, you do have the Velcro that goes around here to seal it up for you. And take a look at this fabric. This is that polyester. On the inside, you can see that translucent nature of the Cuban fiber. Go ahead and take a look at that seam work, guys. As you can see, they do a very, very good job no frays, no mistakes. Very, very impressed. Here's the drag handle. And right here on the inside, which I don't know if you guys can see that or not, you can kind of make that out, is the hole for the hydration tube. Which, if you don't want that, if you'd like to carry bottles only, you can have them remove that for free, of course. But you have shoulder straps, the harness, the waist belt. You do have that mesh padding right here. And you have that carbon fiber frame to help handle your load. Here we are looking at the front. And of course, guys, you wouldn't have this pack this full. I highly doubt it anyway. But you could definitely roll this thing down, make it as big or as small as you need to. Here you have that mesh to dry out your stuff, put your stuff in there. You have your cordage down here for your sleeping pad and so on. And of course, you have the Z-Pax custom ultralight gear logo. Here, you have those pockets. A very good amount of space. You could definitely fit any sort of water bottle in there that you need to. And you do have that cordage right here for cinching down your load. Very simple system. So as far as taking a look at the pack, that's pretty much it, guys. We've gone over basically all the functions, the features of it. We've gone over some of the stats, so we might as well go over the rest of the information concerning these packs here. When it comes to Z-Packs and any of their gear, let it be shelters or backpacks or whatever, they're highly customizable. So when you contact them, when you go to order, you can basically have anything that you want made up. Now, 
This pack here was made specifically for me by the dimensions that I gave them. You know, you really want to make sure that you have the right fit, the measurement of your torso, your waist, and they can help you with that. It's not very complicated. And that is definitely one of the nice things about getting a custom made pack. You can really get it made to suit your body type. There's a slim version, this is the regular, and they come in three different sizes for the regular. And they are 45 liters, 52 liters, and 60 liters. These packs are made to support about 30 pounds of weight. And personally, I would not go over that. That's not my goal. A winter loadout, I'm looking at just a little bit over 20 pounds. So my summer loadout this year, I'm hoping to be around 15 or so, give or take. According to their website, they state that the 45 liter pack weighs 16 ounces, or one pound exactly. And that cost is $275. The 52 liter pack, which I have here, 16.5 ounces, and runs 279. The 60 liter pack is 17 ounces even, and runs 289. As you guys know, as you guys have seen before, outdoor gear is expensive. But to have a customized pack made for you, can actually be a whole lot cheaper than purchasing a name brand backpack from say Gregory, Osprey, Arteryx, so on and so forth. Definitely something to consider if you're in the market for such a thing. Now of course guys, if you're looking to have something customized for you, made specifically for you, you're not going to have this in a week. You're not going to have it in two weeks. I ordered this pack three weeks ago and here it is, took three weeks. That's not bad for having a customized piece of gear made for you. I've been working with some other companies on some ultralight gear, and they've actually taken longer to that. Some of them are on six weeks right now, and that's just how it works with a cottage business. Very small, they do everything to order, that's just how it goes. So my friends, that's pretty much it. That's our look at our first piece of gear for our ultralight summer loadout. That is the Arc Blast from Z-Packs. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of the Outdoor Gear Review. If anybody has any questions for me, please feel free, drop me a line, let me know. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will definitely see you guys around. Everybody, take care.